What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today we're doing a Geekbench and speed test comparison between three of the hottest phones on the market right now, the Apple iPhone X, the Samsung Galaxy S9, and the Google Pixel 2. Now generally when new phones are released, you're going to assume that that one is the fastest. And in order from newest to oldest, we have the Samsung Galaxy S9 rocking the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 released in March of 2018. That should be incredibly fast, we'll find out in just a moment. After that is the Apple iPhone X released in November of 2017, it's got the Apple designed A11 Bionic chip. This thing has been pretty impressive in other tests that I've run on it in the past. I'm really excited to see how it stacks up. And finally, released one month before that in October of 2017, we have the Google Pixel 2 rocking the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. There's no question that all three of these phones are going to be pretty quick. They've got impressive specs on them. It looks like the Samsung Galaxy S9 does have an updated version of what's in the Pixel 2. We'll have to see if that turns out to be quicker. So let's kick things off with a benchmark comparison using the Geekbench app between the Samsung Galaxy S9, the Apple iPhone X, and the Google Pixel 2. Geekbench tests are really valuable because they're using real world metrics to test a processor. And at the very end, you're gonna get a single core score and a multi-core score. And of course, if you scroll down in the result, once it's finished, you get much more detailed information. But generally, the higher the single core score, the higher the multi-core score, the faster the phone is gonna be in day-to-day -day usage or when it's put under a lot of stress. So to follow up after we get these results, I'm gonna run an actual speed test between these phones where we're opening a number of applications back to back to back to back. A lot of different things have to be loaded. It's gonna take a lot of processor power to do that. We're gonna see which phone finishes first. I do wanna speed up this Geekbench test because it can be kind of grueling. As these phones get quicker and quicker, they do finish faster over the years. But there's also a lot to test here, and these processors are being put under a lot of stress right now. So as we keep them sped up at the very same time, you will see that at the end of this test, surprisingly, the iPhone 10, the middle phone here that came out in November of 2017, beat out the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the Google Pixel 2. We've seen time and time again that the Apple A11 Bionic chip is pretty ridiculous. It looks like it could still be the fastest phone on the market. Let's wait until our next phone's complete. After the iPhone 10, coming in 58 seconds later is the Galaxy S9, and 18 seconds after that is the Google Pixel 2. The numbers that all three of these devices put out are really great, but in first place, both in time to finish and with the scores themselves, is the A11 Bionic chip on the iPhone 10. We're seeing 4,254 for that single core score and 10,427 for the multi-core score benchmark. I am blown away by those numbers. We've seen the A11 perform very well in the past, and it seems like it's almost getting better over time, which is kind of crazy. In second place behind the iPhone 10 is the Galaxy S9 Snapdragon 845, single core score of 2,085, about half that of the iPhone 10, which is very interesting to note. Below that, the multi-core score benchmark of 8,268. And in third place behind both the iPhone 10 and the Galaxy S9, we have the Pixel 2 1911 for the single core score and 6,000. 424 for the multi-core benchmark. So without question, the fastest phone here is the iPhone 10, having scores a few thousand points higher than the Galaxy S9 and even higher than the Pixel 2. If you want the fastest benchmark phone on the market right now, you should be looking at the iPhone 10. The specs here do not lie. But of course, this is only on paper. How do these phones hold up in a real world test? If you're doing a lot at once, going from application to application to application, task to task to task, which phone will come out on top? Will it be the iPhone 10? Will it be the Galaxy S9 or the Pixel 2? We are here to answer that question right now. I ran this test a little bit different than I did for the Geekbench test because there is no way that I could continually and consistently and accurately launch apps on all three of these devices at the same time while doing it as fast as humanly possible. With the Geekbench test, that runs itself. I just have to hit one button three times at the same time, and that was really easy. I could do that in one take. I promise you, these are unedited. I did not cut these videos together, but they were run at three different periods in time. Uh, I started with, I think, the iPhone 10, did the Galaxy S9 next, and then the Pixel 2. So yes, internet speeds vary. The amount of time that I did in between each app could vary a little bit. This is not a perfect test by any means, but I tried to remove as much bias as possible. All these apps were updated to the latest version on all these devices. I checked, I made sure they started in the same state or at least the closest state as possible. Uh, I know in one app here in Angry Birds, the iOS screen was a little bit different than the Android screens on the Galaxy S9, on the Pixel 2. I think it reflects very accurately how these phones will hold up in the real world, but a lot of other tests should be run. Like go ahead and check out other YouTubers tests as well when they run a lot of apps at the same time. 
I think these results are relatively conclusive. Of course, I only ran it one time, so in actual science that wouldn't hold up. But here, I think there's no question, and as you can see, the iPhone X is clearly the winner. The, the support here, the way the apps work, the animations on this phone are just unparalleled. But when everything was said and done, the iPhone X did come in first place once again here, just like in the Geekbench comparison. And then the Pixel 2 behind that, 37 seconds later, which is a very large jump in the Galaxy S9, three seconds behind that. I was really surprised to see the Pixel 2 beating out the Galaxy S9, but it was only by three, 3.5, four seconds. Definitely not a huge difference there. I think what I would conclude from this is that the Snapdragon 835 and the Snapdragon 845 in day-to-day -day usage are going to feel about the same. Yes, there was a slight difference between the 835 and the 845. Technically, the 835 beat the 845 here, but there's human error to account for. The internet and loading times could be different when I ran these tests at different points. I would equate the Snapdragon 835 and the Snapdragon 845 to feeling about the same when you're going from app to app to app. And another real explanation for this could just be the animation speed. I noticed on the iPhone 10 it felt like the quickest out of all three. Pixel 2 also felt incredibly snappy, but the Galaxy S9 just felt sluggish at times, and it wasn't like the phone itself was slow. It performed very well in the Geekbench test. It beat out the Pixel 2, and it also just felt good when you were using it and loading it very snappy. But the animations when going from app to app or task to task felt slower than on both the iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2. Other aspects of this test that I think are really important to note is that the iPhone 10 is clearly the fastest phone on the market right now. It has been since November and it continues to be four months later in March of 2018. The Galaxy S9 came out four months after it and the iPhone 10 from November is still beating that phone, not just by a little bit, but by a decent amount, a few thousand points on the Geekbench score and 30 plus seconds in an actual real world usage test. In saying that, the Galaxy S9 and the Pixel 2 aren't slow phones. Like when you pick them up, you're not gonna immediately say, wow, these feel really bad or they don't do tasks as well as my iPhone. When you're using them, you don't really notice it, but when you do stack it up next to the iPhone 10 and you have the Google Pixel 2 and the Samsung Galaxy S9 next to it, yes, the iPhone 10 will probably win every single time. But if you did enjoy this test, it does mean a lot if you drop a like down below, it does help the channel out. And of course, hit subscribe if you wanna see more comparisons like this in the future. If you wanna help support the channel, you can head over to shop.ifdos.com and buy a shirt. That would be super cool. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I will talk to you in my next video.